Library School Plan enables students to have their own accounts on the platform. With student accounts, you as the teacher can create assignments for them to complete, and you can view their results and track their progress. Students can also engage in self-directed learning with their accounts, watching videos and completing instructional activities at their own pace. Today we're going to walk through how to get your students up and running with Flocabulary accounts. The first step to creating student accounts is to create a class. I'm going to click Add a class here on the home page, and then I can choose whether to create a class directly on Flocabulary, or if I'm a Google Classroom user, I can import my roster from Google Classroom. To start, I'm going to click Create a class on Flocabulary. I can then give that class a title, select the grade level and the subject area, and create the class. Once the class is created, there are a couple of ways that I can get students into my class and up and running with their accounts. First, I can copy the class code that's generated and instruct students to go to vocabulary.com slash join class. There, they'll input the code and then they'll be able to create an account and join my class. Or if they already have an account, they can use that one. Students only need one account to access all of their vocabulary classes year over year. Here I'm going to say I'm new, as if I don't have an account yet, and then I can create one using a username and password or with Google or Microsoft SSO. The second way that I can invite students to my class as the teacher is by sending invitations directly to their email addresses. So if I go into my class in the Manage Class tab, I'll see an option to send invites to my students. To send those invites, I can import my contacts from Google or Microsoft 365, or I can add email addresses by hand. That will send an email to students with an invitation to join my class directly. Finally, let's walk through importing a class if I am a Google Classroom user. So I can click Import a class right here, and then I will authenticate by picking my Gmail address that manages those classes. That will pull in all of the classes that that email manages on Google Classroom, and I can select the ones that I want to import to Flocabulary. I click Submit, and then that is going to import my class and all of my students. If they already had Flocabulary accounts, it will match them and place them in my class. If they didn't have accounts, it will create new accounts for them and add them to my class. So I hope that got you started creating classes on Flocabulary and with Google Classroom so that your students can have accounts and engage in learning on the platform. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into creating assignments for those students and viewing the results. Thanks!